Energy transfer during exercise The energy systems Energy sources from food, for exercise, CHO equals 4 kilocalories fat equals 9 kilocalories Pro equals 4 kilocalories For exercise ATP greater than ATP plus P Methods of supplying ATP for energy Stored ATP CP or ATP CP Anaerobic metabolism slash glycolysis slash lactic acid system Aerobic metabolism ATP PC system intramuscular phosphate and stored anaerobic Uses stored ATP Strength slash power movement Replenishes Lactic acid system glycolytic long anaerobic burns glucose Accumulates lactate at high intensities Muscular endurance activities Blood lactate threshold Exercise intensity at the point of lactate buildup Predicts aerobic exercise performance Untrained 55% of VO2 max Trained 75% of VO2 max Aerobic system oxidative burns fatty acids long term energy. Better butter burner. Cardio respiratory endurance activities. Energy systems ATP PC glycolysis beta oxidation. Stored ATP allows for 3 to 5 seconds of activity. Breakdown of glucose, end result is pyruvate. Breakdown of the triglyceride, yields ATP. ATP PC used up in 10 to 15 seconds of activity. Converted to lactic acid if anaerobic in VR. Greater than fat oxidation equals better butter burner, the energy time continuum. As the work time increases, the percentage of energy contributed by the aerobic system increases. Oxygen uptake during aerobic exercise Increases sharply at onset Levels off within a few minutes if pace is constant, steady state Oxygen demand met by supply Maximal oxygen uptake, VO2 max the region where oxygen uptake plateaus and does not increase despite an additional increase in exercise intensity. Maximal oxygen uptake Affected by body size, larger size means larger VO2 max. Absolute oxygen uptake, ml.min Relative oxygen uptake, ml.kg.min Relative to body mass Oxygen deficit Difference between oxygen consumed during exercise and amount that would have been consumed at a steady rate, aerobic metabolism occurred at onset of exercise. Oxygen deficit, trained versus untrained. Train reached steady rate quicker. Higher total oxygen consumption. Less reliance on anaerobic glycolysis. Lower deficit in trained individuals due to Earlier aerobic ATP production Less lactate formation Excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC Formally called oxygen dead Excess oxygen above the resting level in recovery Most lactate does not synthesize into glycogen as originally thought Heart, liver, kidneys and skeletal muscle use lactate as energy substrate during recovery, active recovery for heavy exercise. Facilitates lactate removal because of Increased perfusion of blood through the liver and heart. Increased blood flow in muscles because muscle tissue oxidizes lactate during Krebs cycle.